What's up, guys? I have a question um, for parents, especially helicopter parents and, oh, yeah, the ones that are um, fascinated with uh, protecting the children. Um, can we normalize something to protect them a little bit more? Maybe you haven't thought about it, or maybe you're just full of shit and you don't care, but can we normalize that when a small child especially a baby or a toddler, all the way up to, I don't care, 18, I suppose. Um, can we normalize that if they don't want to hug or kiss or sit on the lap or be held by someone, Auntie Lulu or Uncle uh, Richard, I mean, if they don't want to do that, let's not make them. They may not like that. I mean, they may be a kid that doesn't, you know, like a lot of physical affection anyway. I mean, you know your own your child best. But um, maybe they're going through something that day. Maybe they're not feeling well. Or maybe they can sense something in that person that um, we don't or we can't. So let's pay attention to our children. If they don't want to give Uncle Richard a big old hug because he's leaving, you don't know when you'll see him again. Who gives a shit? Don't make them do it. And another thing, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I have to agree with it. Don't make your child apologize unless it's, it's something they want to do. You can ask them, do you want? Do you feel you should? Are you ready to? But don't make them. That's just a false apology. That's not teaching them anything. That teaches them that as long as you say the words, I'm sorry, or I apologize, that either um, it's all better, or they can get away with it, or whatever. So don't do that either. Um, normalize asking them if they're ready to, if they want to, if they think they should, and discuss that with them. And discuss going back to the, the hugs and being held and sitting on laps and getting kisses. And, you know, that's creepy to me. Um, it's just creepy. So, you know, normalize letting your child say no, no matter how old they are or how young they are. Just a thought. Have a good day.